Hello ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? In this video I will show you why this uh, FreeCAD interface is not different than this FreeCAD interface and how you can achieve this in less than 2 minutes in FreeCAD Link Stage 3 from Real Thunder. Download the latest uh, FreeCAD Link Stage 3 app image from this uh, GitHub repository, save it to a convenient folder and then open a terminal and paste uh, exactly this command. This will make so that um, you can test the modifications without uh, touching the main uh, FreeCAD configuration. Now head over to Tools, Edit Parameters, Base App, Preferences, Main Window and we will create a new Boolean item called Clear Menu Bar set to True. Click OK, Save to Disk and close this window. Now head over to Edit, Preferences, in the General, General tab, we will change our style sheet to dark blue, the overlay style sheet to dark outline, the size of the toolbar icons to large 32 pixels, tree icon uh, size 22, then the tree view item spacing to something like 8, and the tree view mode to both. Change to document tab and enable save thumbnail into project file. Head over to display, enable VBO and change the anti-aliasing settings. Change the peak radius to something like 10 pixel and the pre-selection delay to 0.010. In the user interface panel, change the item background color to this value and the alpha channel value to 20. Hit OK, then change the item background padding to 25 pixel and check hide extra column. Head over to dockable overlay and uncheck check navigation cube uh, option. Change the hint delay to something like 10 the layout delay to 100, the animation duration to 300 and the animation type to in-out expo. In the pie menu section, uh, enable show pie as pop-up, change the animation type to in-out expo and enable the trigger action. Head over to the navigation tab and choose, uh, choose your preferred uh, navigation style. Check the Enable Animation option and change the zoom step to something like 10. Switch to the Colors tab and change the color gradient for the background to this value. The object being edited to this value and the active container to a color like this. In the Draw Styles um, tab Change uh, the ground transparency to 1. The ground, uh, uncheck ground shading, apply your changes and hit OK. It is now time to rearrange the panels in the desired uh, location. Close the property view and uh, uncheck uh, the overlay interface for a minute. Cover the tree view. And for the next step, we need to activate at least once the part design workbench and the draft workbench. Head over to Edit Preferences. In the part design uh, tab, uh, Shape Appearance. We will uh, modify the line width with one pixel. In the draft preferences, the grid and snapping tab, change the grid color to something like this, and perhaps change the dimensions uh, of the grid.
you can now arrange the AI icon toolbars to your likings. For the bonus part of this tutorial, we will set up some Pi menus. So right click on the icon toolbar, choose customize, then head over to toolbars. In the right hand panel, switch to the global toolbar and let's create two new Pi menus. The first one being called utilities and we'll call the second one workbenches. Uncheck the name option, this way you won't have an extra toolbar shown but only the Pi menu. Give the utilities uh, Pi menu the uh, shortcut Q and the workbench Pi menu the shortcut W. Select the utilities Pi and then uh, heading to the type to search uh, field you can populate your Pi menu with uh, options that are relevant uh, to your workflow. It is now time to populate the workbenches pie, so select your workbenches pie, then on the left hand side select the workbench and choose to pass uh, the workbenches that you use the most. It is also possible to create workbench specific pies. This will work only when the relevant workbench is active. We will create one for the part design workbench. So on the right hand side choose part design. We will create a new pie. We will create uh, we will name it tools and give it uh, the shortcut EE. On the left hand side choose part design and then populate your pie with uh, the tools that you use the most. If you don't want your report uh, view to always pop up, uh, head over to Edit Preferences, Output Window and uncheck these two options. Enable the, the overlay interface and remember to use the Pi menus that we've uh, set up. Their uh, relative uh, keyboard shortcuts are on the top row of your keyboard and they are Q, W and D. E. One of the best options that the overlay interface has is called um, Show and Edit. This will make so that the panel will hide itself and will reveal only when a task is active. You can always uh, reveal the panel by hitting the side of your screen with uh, the mouse cursor. Now just take a minute to analyze what we've done here. We only moved uh, what is called uh, the combo view on the right and we have a uh, tree view overlaid uh, on the left side of uh, the screen. You can always follow every tutorial on YouTube uh, with this in mind and uh, nothing is changed uh, as far as uh, functionality goes uh, for the for FreeCAD uh, interface except for the fact that uh, we've uh, greatly expanded uh, the 3D view. This tutorial was done uh, because I intend to make other tutorials and I don't want people to get confused about the different look of the interface. If you appreciate my work, uh, leave a like to this video and subscribe uh, to the channel or if you'd like uh, to buy me a beer, head over to my Patreon page. Thank you all, cheers and happy modeling!